Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. It's the first time that I'm visiting in the new year 2021. I am so excited to ride some rides, eat some food, and just enjoy both parks. So, let's go do this. I'm actually here with my friend Jackie. Super Hello, enthused. I like that Universal Studios hat. It is my favorite Universal hat. For it sure. is very fancy. Thank you. And it's going to be a fun day. And I'm excited because there are so many new things that I actually haven't seen yet. So now we're going to explore them all. I think we're going to start on Universal Studios side first. And then hop on over to Islands of Adventure a little bit later on. One thing I haven't been able to do is try Everglades Donuts in Disney Springs. But if you have, which one's better? Is Voodoo Donut better or Everglades? Let me know in the comments what your pick is. This is a weekend. Actually, it's Sunday and the park closes at 7 o'clock. During the weekday, it closes at 5. So it's hard to justify coming out and just hanging out for a little bit. But at least on Saturday and Sunday, we get a little bit longer. That's why I decided to come out. Normally, I don't come out on the weekends. But today's a great day. I'm happy I'm here. Before we journey into the park a little bit farther, I want to stop into the Today Cafe, grab a little snack and maybe a beer or a coffee, depending on what they got going on in here. I've never actually gotten anything from here before. It's always super busy and you can't sit down on the inside, but take a look at it now. Like there's plenty of room you can just sit down and enjoy. Wow, look at all of that. This looks amazing. I don't know what to get. Look at that Napoleon. Oh, wow, so many amazing things. Uh, maybe a little tiramisu. I think I'm gonna get some tiramisu, but I do like the cakes. That's like a macaroon cake. I decided on getting the tiramisu along with the nitro cold brew because it just looks so delicious. And I'm gonna give it a try and sit down and enjoy a little bit in here. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow, I don't know, I was just, I really love tiramisu, and the way that they had the like lady fingers actually standing up, I thought it was gonna be very good. And then the nitro cold brew, this is looking real good. It's always great to start your day off with some coffee. And I feel like I'm doing like double coffee because I got a coffee dessert or a coffee snack, and then a nice little cold brew. I'm gonna dive into the tiramisu. I'm excited to see how this like falls apart. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Look at that. Oh, oh boy, I love tiramisu. I just took a backpack and... As I sit here and drink my coffee and eat my tiramisu, I also see Hello Kitty out there saying hi to everybody. Look at that. Just kind of hanging out on a grassy knoll. This is an amazing tiramisu. I am like, wow. I like that I can like literally get the little lady fingers out and actually eat them one by one and then add like the cream and the coffee mousse to it. Very cool. I definitely would get this again. This is the first time I've eaten here at the Today Cafe and just by the tiramisu, I want to try more. So next time I'm coming back. Now that we're all coffeeed up, it's time to get moving. I'm excited for the day, especially now that I've had some nitro cold brew and some tiramisu. Look at the wait times. Everything seems so slow. Men in Black, 10 minutes. The Simpson ride, 65 minutes. What is happening there? Those wait times are a little funny. How could the mummy be a 20 minute wait and the Simpsons a 65 minute wait? I don't know if I can believe it or no way. See, they're saying Hollywood Rip Riding is 15 minutes, The Simpsons 65, and then Gringotts only at 25? No, can't be. The Beetlejuice music, it just gets you in the mood, right? It's so high. Like we're walking and we're just like do, 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 do. I think we're gonna head on over to the Mummy that recently reopened after being closed for a while. I'm so excited! Like I said, I love this ride. It's one of my favorite roller coasters of all time. Look at this fancy fella in the Macy's window over here. I really like his hat. <laughs> because there's no filming allowed on the Mummy, we're gonna have to put the camera away in the locker and then we'll just catch up as soon as we get done. Ooh. 
and now we are back. Let me tell you something, that is a great way to kick off the day. Some of the rides you can film on here, some you can't, that is definitely one of them. And it's just so exhilarating. I absolutely love that ride. It's definitely, like I said, one of my favorite roller coasters. We're gonna move along, but I wanna stop in the Rosie's Irish shop because you know, St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner. And maybe they got some cool fancy things for this coming year. I love the Finnegan shirts. I wish that they actually had like a long sleeve one. That would be really cool. And they even have some nice Finnegan's hats. Black is definitely better. These are really nifty. And then of course, some more Guinness and just different Ireland apparel. This is a really cool shop. Even some shenanigans, evil shenanigans. Another thing I'm excited for is not only St. Patrick's Day, but for Mardi Gras to come to Universal Studios. And you know what? They're starting to put up the tents for them. And it's actually in places I didn't think they would actually celebrate the Mardi Gras area. Now I'm not sure if Jackie knows I'm recording her because she's taking a selfie, but these are tents for Mardi Gras right here. And they're all the way over here by Fast and the Furious, almost in King's Cross. That looks That's, so good, right? They it just seems so strange that they're here. The other day I was dining at Teppanito and I was hanging out in the Japan Pavilion and I noticed that they closed their pick a pearl section but here at Universal Studios it's actually still open and I wonder if they'll let me ring the bell you know sometimes they like ring the bell and they celebrate when you find a pearl I'm not gonna get a pearl but I want to just ring the bell I'm gonna ask I always get excited I ask so funny I'm like can I ring the bell oh. thank you I have no idea why ringing a bell just brings me so much happiness. I really like doing it. But have you ever seen the backside of Jaws before? Look at that, you can see his underbelly. <laughs> well, we were heading that way to go ride the Hogwarts Express, but it's 50 minutes. So I think we're just gonna go back out and walk over to Islands of Adventure. It's gonna be much quicker. We wanna get over there before the sun starts to set. It's beautiful out and it's probably gonna be an amazing sunset. The birds are attacking! What did he get in it? What did he have in his mouth? A quick stop to Finnegan's before we make the jump over to Islands, because we gotta visit our favorite pub. Here's to you. Perfect! <laughs> This is like the perfect booth right here. I love it. Wow, we're like literally on the bar. When was the last time you ever said you can actually drink at the bar at Finnegan's? No, you're right. This is the only way you can drink. This is the only way you can drink at the bar at Finnegan's. I think I'm gonna get myself a good old heart, but I would love to get an Irish coffee now that I see that they make the espresso here. I love Irish coffees, but sometimes when you order them, you actually get just like a pre-made coffee drink. I love it when it's fresh. It's so funny because I was asking if that wheel actually spins and she went up and spun it for me. Oh. Trip to the bar. Trip to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel like I'm ready for my journey over to Islands of Adventure. I love Finnegan's. It's seriously just such an amazing atmosphere. Nothing like a harp and a little live music. It's really good. It's only about a 10 minute walk from Universal Studios to Islands of Adventure. That's why we'd much rather take the walk than wait the 50 minutes for the Hogwarts Express. And it's actually very nice out so you get to look at some really fancy stuff and I'll show you some of those on the way over. The Hogwarts Express is a fun ride that gets you back and forth to the park, but when you walk over there, it's so beautiful because you get to see the Hard Rock and you get to see the Chocolate Emporium. And also, we're Brownie actually running and also a piece of the Berlin Wall. Right behind the Hard Rock is where the piece of the Berlin Wall is. And I just, you know, sometimes like to come up, touch it and be like, hey, I touched the Berlin Wall and then just go about my business. There it is. I love rock and roll. I just touched the Berlin Wall. 
crazy, isn't it? Right here at Universal Studios Orlando. It's just a cool little thing. I know a lot of people mention it, but I absolutely love it because I'm such a history person. And that's such an iconic history piece. And right here is one of the very unique restaurants at Universal Studios, the Tootsum Chocolate Emporium. Now, we're not grabbing anything to eat, but just give you a run around and see all the cool things that they have in the grab and go area. They've got some really good deals going on, actually. A flash sale, 50% off candy. That's really awesome. And then, of course, Valentine's Day is coming up. So, you know, a lot of chocolate's gonna be sold here. But seriously, look at all the amazing little desserts. Oh, I love it in here. I mean, I could probably eat one of everything. Look at the little teddy bear. That's a gingerbread s'mores cocoa bomb. Oh, they have four different flavors of those. Four different flavors. Here is one of the other flavors that she said. This is the peppermint cocoa bomb. Look how beautiful that looks. Cocoa, like, cocoa bombs have really got popular recently. I love them. I haven't tried one yet, though. They have amazing things in there. Not only just like sweets, they have good food, too. I've dined there plenty of times, and I enjoy their burgers, their steaks. Everything's really actually good. Now we're in Islands of Adventure. I would say that was way less than 10 minutes. I know I threw that number out there earlier, but I could say probably a four minute walk. Beautiful Islands of Adventure. And it's actually looking really good for wait times that we walked in. Dr. Doom is 10 minutes, Spider-Man 30, Kong is 30, Hogwarts Express went down to 45, but Hagrid's is still at a 60 minute wait. Holy moly. And now I need to get some sanitizer. Thank you. Watch out for the high gamma radiation area. Fun little nod for any of the Marvel fanatics out there. Actually, the artist that did all of these paintings or pictures of different characters, his name is Adam, and he wrote Adam in every single person. And it's kind of like a hidden thing. And I'm trying to find them all, but it's actually very challenging. Like, I can't find Adam anywhere. Oh, I do. Man, it hit me so hard, but bada bing. A D A N M. Wow. It was hard, but it literally just stood out like a sore thumb. And then on the picture of the top, it says it on his shoe. Adam, A-D-A-M. Since I'm sitting over in the Jurassic Park area enjoying the music, I decided to get a Pursudo Sue Pale Ale. And this is made just for Jurassic Park area here. That's really awesome, huh? So Nate, uh, what's the beer called again? Pasudo? 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 Pas Should I tell him, guys? Should I tell him? Please, what is it? It's pseudo, Nate. Pseudo <laughs> Sue. Since we're heading into Harry Potter, I think I should finish up my pseudo Sue. Pseudo. This will always be one of my favorite parts of Universal Studios. I love Hogsmeade. I love Diagon Alley too, but I don't know. Just something about staring at Hogwarts Castle, it just gets me. So I don't know. I can't really say whether I like Hogsmeade better than Diagon Alley. I just know I like seeing the castle. I mean, honestly, who doesn't? Isn't that beautiful? Looking at that sunset happening behind the Hogwarts Castle makes me want to actually go ride Flight of the Hippogriff because you get pretty amazing views from up there. And it'll be a little fun ride. I absolutely love this. It's a little tiny roller coaster, kind of like a kid's coaster, but it's really fun. Look at this. We got Pumpkin Hagrid right there. I'll look at Hagrid's hut right here too. Look at that. Look at that view. Oh boy, we're going. Oh wow. Oh wow. Woo! <laughs> oh! Don't lose your hat, Jackie. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was such a fun ride. Honestly, I know it's made for kids, but I love it and I think it's really cool. They actually hit the corners and turns really quickly. So, I mean, even though it's for kids, I still think it would be really thrilling for them. The park is actually going to be closing very shortly, so I think we're going to make our way out of the park, maybe grab something to eat on the way out, but man, I'm having such a great day, and that sky is beautiful. Wow. Skull Island, Reign of Kong. Anybody else super excited for Kong vs. Godzilla? i seen that little tiny bit of a trailer on HBO Max, and I am so pumped for that. One thing I can say about Universal is they got theming so right with this ride. It is magnificent. Look at that in there, from the fire to all the different faces. It is amazing. The pickings were pretty slim inside the park, so we're gonna make our way out to City Walk. Hopefully grab something to eat at one of the restaurants out here. There's a lot to choose from. A couple of good selections that we have are NBC Grill, and then also we have Vivo and Cowfish and Margaritaville. So we're going to see which one has the lowest wait time because whenever the park is closing, all of the restaurants at City Walk usually get much busier because that's where everyone's heading is on their way out. And I think we're heading to Cowfish, the sushi burger bar. This is my first time inside here. I'm excited. Oh wow, it seems so festive here. Very nice. They have such a big menu here and a good combination of sushi and burgers and even a couple of things that are sushi and burger together. One of the burgers is a nod to Elvis Presley where it's a pound burger with peanut butter and fried bananas on it. That sounds interesting but I need something to actually put in my belly today. So I'm going to get the dynamic duo which is like a pork belly or short rib and a burger. Short rib and a burger. Sounds pretty interesting. Along with my dynamic duo I decided to get the Brussels sprouts and they look amazing. I mean, they add a whole bunch of stuff to it as well. So fun fact about these Brussels sprouts is they actually have tuna flakes on it that actually look like they're moving, but it's the heat that moves them. Do you see it moving? They're moving on their own. It's so like trippy to see that actually. Now the burger is here. I absolutely love those Brussels sprouts, but Something is on top of my burger that I was not expecting, and I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a go. This is the dynamic duo, and you can see I got the short rib on there with the burger, but then it also comes with a little sushi on top. I'm gonna try the sushi, and then Jackie got the bento box. The cowfish bento box. And it's got a mini burger with sushi and sweet potato fries. That's very fancy. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, don't put this in your beer. <laughs> I am not a big fan of sushi. In fact, I've only ever had it once before, but I'm gonna give this a go. And I'm gonna eat it just like I pulled it out of the burger. Oh boy. It was just a, a veggie roll. Nothing to go crazy about, but it was on top of my burger. <laughs> <laughs> but now I gotta get to the good stuff. I gotta get to the burger, so. burger is absolutely amazing but take a look at this up here I thought those were fishes but they're flying cows I love it in here the food is great the atmosphere the music very cool but now I think we need to be moving along this was such a great experience I absolutely loved it here and I'm definitely gonna come back and try that peanut butter banana burger I have to and I think we're gonna take the fancy elevator down oh oh it's so bright Oh my gosh, it is. Look at Cool. <laughs> and with that, I think I am done here. I had so much fun hanging out at Universal Studios. 
I know I can't film much on the rides, but I really rely on, you know, basically my experience and I try to like portray it and how I have fun at Universal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I have so much fun at Universal. I always have a great time. I just talk and talk and talk. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I'll see you next time. Bye!